talking to you. This training is probably going to upset a lot of people. So we're just going to put that out there right now. And the reason that I found it so important to share this with you is that I don't think enough people are talking about the fact that you can't just set it and forget it. You can't just set up an automation system and expect that every single time it's going to work perfectly. And many people will tell you that their system that they're building will just automatically work. There are so many nuances and minute differences to that we can tweak and adjust as you are using automation. So I am going to pull back the curtain today out a lot of things that maybe some people don't want us to talk about so that you can get better results. Boom! I'm so glad that you're here. Amazing. And if you want show notes from this, if you want access to, we've got all kinds of stuff coming at you. We have show notes, we have access, I think maybe to a masterclass. I'm going to look at that and see what we've set up automation wise. And all you have to do is comment below with the word automate to get access to all of this goodness. So I am going to go through, there are seven points that we're going to cover today. And I'm going to go through and put this up for you where you can go back and read through it later. It's going to be awesome. We have Mark here. We have uh, Quetta. Hello. We have Tamar. Jerome. Yay. Oh my gosh. I love this because so far I can see that we have people in Spain. We have people in England. Sherry, I forget where you live. Where do you live, Sherry? We have people all over the world. So let me know in the comments below where you are right now as you're watching this. And remember, if you comment below, like I just said, with the word automate, you're going to get access to the show notes. I think we have a live video masterclass coming at you right there too. I'm going to check and make sure all of the goodness that we're sending your way. And I would love to introduce myself to you. I know I know many of you, but I see a few people that I've never met. So my name is Molly Mahoney. I am here with BeLive TV, my favorite tool for Facebook Live and helping you to really elevate your Facebook Live experience for your audience. And also as a viewer, isn't it so cool how we can bring the comments up into the the screen? It's so awesome, the things that we can do like this. I love it. Like Sherry's near Nashville. Michael, hello, Colorado in the house. I love it. So good. Oh my gosh. See, look at this. Jerome is currently at the border of France on his way to Holland. Oh, how magical is the internet? All right. So I show up every Wednesday here for Be Live TV. My personal business is called The Prepared Performer, where I help people like you to be able to use the magic of Facebook Live more effectively. And we also build out automation systems. So I set up the initial bot that we have here at be Live TV. If you ever spoken to our Be Live bot, we created that, and then we taught the team here at Be Live to be able to send messages out so that you can get specific messages about the shows that you want. So on Mondays we have Owen. He's here, Owen Video, so you can get messages from him if you want those. I'm talking about our automation because it's super cool. Ross and Rachel are on Tuesday. I'm here on Wednesday. Jeff Adams is here with his Live Positive show on uh, Thursday. And Ross and Rachel do the best of Be Live on Tuesday, which is really cool. You can learn from new broadcasters, all kinds of cool tips. And it's amazing. And then Mari Smith even has a show here at Be Live TV. I believe it's on the first Friday of every month. And I love it. So good. Yay. Evelyn's here. Oh my gosh. Evelyn, remind me that I have a really cool idea for you for a video. Remind me to tell you what my idea is. Lynn, awesome question. So Lynn asks, what is a bot? So you can actually experience a bot, which is one of our favorite ways to automate our marketing systems. And this is what we build out for clients too. Um, When you comment below with the word automate, and when you do that, it will actually send you a message from our bot. It's like a robot. It's an automated way to use your Facebook Messenger. It'll send you a message that asks you to reply. And when you reply with the word that it asks for, it actually sends you a specific message that gives you a bunch of cool stuff. So when you reply with the word automate, you end up, which I can see some of you have, uh, I'm looking at the backside right now. When you reply with the word automate, you're going to get a message that offers you show notes. Ooh, I forgot about this. Good thing I'm checking it and calling my own stuff out. We're also going to give you an opportunity to be able to book a call where we can dig into your automation systems and help identify ways that you can tweak them and make them even more effective. So 
Um, on that call, we'd go through some of the things that we're going to talk about today, but really looking at your systems that you have in place. And you can also get a free trial of Be Live TV if you've never used it before. So yes, Michael says, what's your favorite bot? My favorite bot is obviously, <laughs> I was going to say something silly, but the tool that we love to use the most is called ManyChat. Um, Kim, good to see you. ManyChat is our favorite bot tool. Ta-da! All right. And oh my gosh, as we dive into all of this content today, I have really cool stuff to tell you. Number one, we are going to do a giveaway today. I Some of you may have seen over <laughs> in my private Facebook group, I've been doing all kinds of giveaways and I'm going to be announcing the winners later this week. Holy smokes, we've given away so much awesomeness. And today is no different. I am feeling super giving. So we're going to do a giveaway today. You're going to comment below with the word nugget, the hashtag nugget. And oh, shoot, I wrote it again. Ta-da. That's what I want you to do. Comment below with the hashtag nugget and then your aha. So as I'm sharing these tips with you, comment below with the word nugget and then like, yes, that was so awesome. And we're going to give away something cuckoo today. <laughs> do you want to know what we're giving away? So we have an awesome program that uh, I created. It's not connected to BeLive TV necessarily, but I am an amazing team member at BeLive, so we're connected that way. But this is a program that I have in my business, The Prepared Performer, and it's called a Facebook business page makeover. We currently sell it for $97, and I'm going to give one away today. I decided. What? So when, I know, Mark, so much giveaway. Okay, and make sure that instead of just using the word nugget, you share your aha as well. So this is my favorite thing to do with our videos because it helps you to reiterate the information that you're getting, getting, <laughs> reiterate the information that you're getting, the information that you're getting today so that you really take it and you're more likely to implement it, implement it right? Many of you know I'm all about implementation. It's why I love the program, the 90-day year, which I've been talking about a lot lately. And when you do this, <laughs> can automate, nugget, aha, hashtag, OMG. <laughs> um, oh, did I say thank you, Tina? Does it say con does it say converting? Oh, really funny. Convert, converting, thank you converting and now it's on there for the whole show and we're just going to leave it there and this is why I always tell you that I can't spell and why pick monkey needs to have spell check thank you Tina <laughs> uh convert converting maybe you're coverting your I don't know thank you it's going to be there so we're stuck I can't change it now <laughs> all right so thank you <laughs> Tina gets 500 points. I know Tina has told me in the past too that spelling mistakes drive her crazy, but she loves the content enough to hang around with Cuckoo Bird over here. Okay, so thank you, Tina. And I love it when you point them out to me so that I can fix them in the future. Um, yes, and Sherry says, a free Facebook makeover is an awesome freebie. Yes. Um, <laughs> Coverting, I know, it's tricky. Okay, so we are going to dive in this, into this today. Oh my gosh, I have these seven tips set up for you, the seven reasons that your automation is not converting. And like I mentioned earlier, this is probably a video that's going to make a couple people mad. <sighs> because there are marketers out there who are like, we have the marketing system that if you just plug your things into our little thing, all of a sudden, a lot of dollars will fly at your face. And guess what? Here's the thing. That's not actually the case anymore. Our audiences are more and more savvy. So as you are going through uh, someone's automated marketing system, you're probably finding yourself knowing that it's automated, right? We can't, we're not like tricking people. And uh, it, it's, we have to start communicating in a different way. And we have to start looking at our automation systems in a way that is really unique and really specific. And that's one of the reasons that I love creating these systems so much is that it's always like a new magical alchemist kind of adventure. So I would like it if you would share this puppy, because this is not only going to Here's like three things that would do when you share this video. One, it's going to make you look like an awesome and and it's kind of like a rebel hero because you are calling out the fact that there are, you know, it, there's nuances to this and that it's not just like, oh, I have the system that works every single time. It has to be tweaked along the way as we as we create these systems. Um, and it's why it's so important to be really... Um, 
specific. So like we have many people here who are in camera confidence, my awesome Facebook live community, of course, um, that we have our program that we have. So if you're in the cam fam, give me a cam fam down below. And some people when they join cam fam, when they join camera confidence, they're like, Molly, why do I have to answer all of these questions about my specific business? Like I thought this was going to teach me how to use Facebook live. Yes. And you have to do some inner work to make sure that you're you're developing something that's uniquely suited for your audience, that's uniquely suited for you. And if you don't do that inner work, the automated stuff will not convert. It might work one or two times, but if you want this to go for the long haul, which I know you do, this work has to be done. I love it. Yes, Nicole, Janine, hi. Um, who? Michael, go take care of your dog. You can come back. Okay. The other thing that will happen when you share this, aside from looking like a rebel and a hero, which will be awesome, is that it will help, you know, when you go through someone's automated marketing system, there are times when you're like, oh, oh my gosh, I have this giant clip on. I just hit my head. Um, there's one person in particular who I'm not going to mention his name, but they have a really, um, like amazing program. I've done their courses. It's someone I, I don't talk about very often, but but I keep getting text messages from them that are like trying to sell me into a program that I'm already in. And so one time I responded to the text message and I was like, hey, person, it would be really awesome if this was um, segmented so that you were sending me a specific message knowing that I'm a member who's gone through your program and they didn't respond. And I, as I'm going to also tell you, as I, I, um, Jerome is a member of the Mall Stars, which is good. Do we have other Mall Stars members here? Which would be so good. Mall Stars is our free community, which is super cool. And I love the Mall Stars so much too. Um, uh, so I'm as I'm telling you this, these are things that I also need to repeat for me and for our clients all the time. These are things that you can't just like set it and forget it does not work with this. So uh, as you're going through some of our stuff, you may notice some of these things like, oh, this would probably convert better if this was tweaked. And it's, there are so many little nuances where, it, and the cool thing is, this is an amazing opportunity to up level your conversions. So if you have something that's working well, and you want it to work better, this is going to be amazing for you too. Okay, so make sure that you share this puppy because we want to fix we want a better experience as a user as well, right? Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. And remember, you're going to comment below with the word nugget and that will, um, uh, nugget and your aha, and that will enter you to win OMG, our Facebook live makeover. It's not a Facebook live makeover. It's a Facebook business page makeover. Okay. I love it. Thank you. Ken says your AI is excellent and awesome. All right. So these are the steps that we try to make sure are in place for my things that I'm building for myself and also the things that we're building for our clients. Okay. So number one is this seems pretty basic, but testing. And some of you have known I am much better about making sure that my team tests these things for our clients than I am about testing things for myself. Because I don't know where you are on the spectrum of, um, you know, how, how you behave in your business, but I'm what's known as a quick start, right? I jump in and I, I do things right away and I'm like, yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. And so sometimes to me, stopping and testing every single thing can seem like it's going to slow me down. Not the case. I learned this awesome, uh, this awesome phrase from an Alexander coach that I worked with named Chloe Wing. And she had learned this from a client of hers who was a Navy SEAL. And he said, Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. <laughs> and so we have to make sure that we're taking time to go through and test every little step of it. And I've, I've shared this before, but when you're testing this stuff, you don't want to just test it and click all the buttons. You want to test it. And we actually have this in our guidelines for our company. So with my business, I have an awesome team and I have a list of guidelines and one of the guidelines that we have is when you build something out that's automated, you take a moment to go through the system and read it by really taking on the mindset and the place of your ideal client. So read it from the view of your ideal client. Because if you're someone who moves quickly like I do, it, it's like, have you ever seen that test where um, it's a whole paragraph and it's missing lots of letters, but we're able to read the whole thing? This is what happens for me when I go too quickly, and so this is a reminder for all of us, is that we want to stop and look at it and really read it as the person who's going to be experiencing it. Yes, 
Totally. Uh, yes, Elaine, good to see you here too. She says, sometimes you need to slow down to speed up. Yes, awesome. Um, totally testing if you don't it may be painful and costing <laughs> costly based on experience right i know so test 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 and it's also really good to have someone else test it because if you built the thing and then you're going through it yourself you have a whole different understanding of how it works so whether that's a friend or a team member that you've hired get someone else to test it and if you're building these systems out for clients have your clients test it right getting more eyes on it is a really awesome thing I love it. <laughs> Lynn, my ha ha, I don't have an automated system. So thank you, Lynn, for saying that. If you have yet to automate anything, this is a really good foundational place to start, which is awesome. Okay, number two, and, and let's talk about automation also. This can include bots, like I'm talking about. It's also your emails that you're sending out to your email community. That's a shift, right? To think of it as a community and not a list. We talk about our list so often and then we forget the fact that there are real human beings on the other side of your list. And this is where list shame comes in where people are like, oh, you can't be a part of my summit unless you have a list that's blah, blah, blah size. Maybe someone has a list of 15 people, but all 15 of those people buy every single thing they have, right? This is something that I used to go through all the time that people wouldn't let me, wouldn't have me to be interviewed on their podcast or part of their summit or whatever if I didn't have a big enough list. And I'm so big about making sure I don't slip into that trap because this is a completely different ballgame that we're playing in now. This is not the way that things used to be where you could just throw a bunch of emails out and all of a sudden you had a million dollars, right? Uh, yes, El Elaine says, it's always shocking when I go back and read something I wrote when I was sure <laughs> that it was right and didn't see the typos, right? And Elaine, this is why it's so awesome to have a team where you're getting other eyes on it aside from just yourself. And then that way, you can focus on the things that you're so brilliant at, like showing up and doing live videos or, you know, whatever it is. Okay. So ready? Here is the number two step. And remember, you can share this puppy if you think that this is valuable. Okay. Number two. You want to make sure that it's super personalized. Now, this is true for um, like in, in many systems, you can add the name into it. But another way to automate something is with Facebook ads. That's an automation. It's setting up uh, a post that you're then sending out to a lot of other people and something, you know, an, an automated system is sending it out to the right people. So this includes targeting in your Facebook ads. It includes getting super clear about exactly who you're talking to. And I'm going to um, use Elaine, I'm going to use you as an example. So we have lots of clients who are in who uh, work with LuLaRoe. And LuLaRoe is a clothing company that I love. And like, okay, I'm going to use two examples of two of our clients. So Danielle Fewings, some of you may know her, Danielle Amelia, she's one of my really good friends. Her client base is like, right now, she's talking to them about going on The Bachelor. And she at this time, she's single, she doesn't have kids. So she's she has a client base that is um, they're really career minded. They are totally cheering her on and loving this idea of her going on The Bachelor, which might not have anything to do with the actual product that she's selling. But by crafting her messages to that person, it it gives them an experience that's totally different than if, let's say, now let's talk about another awesome client of ours, which is Kim and Bro LuLaRoe. And they are a married couple who do their videos together. They have kids. Um, we've realized by digging in and really researching who they're speaking to that a lot of their, their clients are uh, moms of preschool kids. So just having those two differentiators, their automated, automated systems are going to be completely different. And so many people skip this step and they don't get clear about the person that they're speaking to, or they focus the person that they're speaking to on, like I've talked to people who, um, like anyone who needs marketing. All of us need marketing. So if you're marketing to anyone who needs marketing, that's not going to work, right? You want to make sure that you're able to speak to them in their language, speak to them um, in, a, you know, explaining problems that they actually experience, which, okay, if you like that nugget, this is going to lead us really well into tip number three. And if you recognize that um, sometimes it can seem like, <sighs> a cra so awesome. Lynn is at ground zero building her community. Lynn, that's so good because this is the perfect time to get clear about this stuff, right? Lynn, tell me what you offer in your business. Um, uh, Muriel, right? So she said, I know it sucks. You need a big list. And that's the thing that I'm like 
changing. I mean, I am doing this, this launch with Todd Herman's program. And I'm so honored right now at this moment, if you're watching this live to be a part of his launch team, right? Where we are welcoming in new members to his program that we're going to support through that as well. And there were people on that list on Todd's um, affiliate team, his launch team who have huge communities, like hundreds of thousands of people on their list, probably. And the people who are actually doing the best in this launch are people who are more my level or probably maybe even a little smaller community, which is super cool. And, and I think it's an amazing opportunity for all of you, for all of us to recognize we don't have to be spending loads of money on Facebook ads. We don't have to have this huge giant community. What we have to do is be more human, right? And actually connect with real people and be super crazy clear about the tangible problem that you are solving for them. And you have to make it really clear that there is a problem that they, and that you have a solution that can help them. Um, uh, yes. Yeah. So using their, the free offers, that's all a part of your marketing, right? And have a personal approach rather than just being like, I mean, it's all steps of it. It's not just about what you're offering at, in the long run. It's really crafting super specific free offers for each of your ideal clients. So we have been talking to some people lately who have not been seeing uh, as awesome results as they would like to. They've been seeing good results, but it's not crazy bananas. And one of the biggest shifts that we're helping them to make is that they have to speak, like pick a small group of people to speak to, right? You know, and I didn't even think about this before, but at... Was it social? I don't remember where it was. I was at some event where we were, oh, you know, it was called the social shakeup. I was speaking at an event called the social shakeup and they were talking about the rise of micro influencers. And I am totally guilty of um, missing the opportunity that, that there is in a micro influencer. Like I remember one of our clients, uh, when we first started working with her, I, she explained what she did and I went to her page and she had a thousand likes on her business page. But for the results that she was getting, I was like, how is she doing this? And it's, it does not matter. You don't need a lot of those big, huge numbers are vanity numbers. They're not real numbers that actually convert. So we have to make sure that we're paying attention to the right types of numbers. Yes, totally. Muriel says such a great argument to provide when you're doing a joint venture. We are more personal than the big ones. Exactly. And honestly, there is one person that I did a joint a uh, lot, like um, it was a thing to bring in leads. And it was great. We we brought in a lot of people to our community. We actually ended up uh, welcoming a lot of those people who were brought into our community. A lot of them became clients. So we had good results by the end of it. And the person who was running it, I'm, I'm feeling very um, like Colorado today. I don't know what it is. But the person who was running it honestly treated me like poop. <laughs> like she, it was like so much shame for not having like I was always, here's the thing. I was always in the top 20 of the people who had brought in the most amount of people, oftentimes more than that. And still like every two days I would get a message from, from them that was like, we don't think you're sending out enough emails. We don't think you da, 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 da. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then the next year they asked me to be a part of it again. And we had really shifted and had way more engagement the following year. And guess what I said to her? No, thank you. <laughs> right? Because I... I am done with all of that stuff that is saying like you can just throw um, magnets out into the world and you're going to catch a bunch of fish. Like we want to be building real relationships. So if you want to be building real relationships too, give me an amen in the comments down below. Okay. Color. <laughs> uh, that is a new word. I'm going to do one video a month that is very Colorado-y and I'm going to tell you it's probably um, going to be after... Uh, I have a show because I had a show last night. Some of you know that I do my own Broadway themed open mic night. And so I don't get home till super late. So I think I'm actually tired. And when I'm tired, I get color rowdy. Um, yes. Tom says, treat people like real people. Um, yes. See, Muriel says I was treated like that with people that I wanted on my podcast. And okay. Um, Tina says, how about accentuate the positive? I know. And, and I am also going to say, even though I'm being kind of color rowdy right now, I will also say I 
100% know that we can't have, we can't work with everyone. We don't have time to be able to be a joint venture with everyone. And so at some point there has to be um, like a, you know, qualifier for things to, to, for reasons for us to work with each other, whatever. Like there's just not enough time in the day. I would do a podcast with every single person in the whole world if I could, but the calendar doesn't allow us to do that. So I get that. And um, I just think that we all need to work on being more human in this kind of stuff. Okay. Yes, totally. Treat others how you want to be treated. What? Aw, thank you. Janine watched our show last night on Facebook Live because I broadcast it live, which is so cool. Yes. Okay. And if you're just joining us, make sure that you comment with the word automate and we'll be getting you the show notes from today. It should be done in a few days with all these seven tips and... Uh, you'll also get access if you are using automated systems or you're thinking about using automated systems, we're doing this really cool thing. Um, we don't have space for everyone. So, you know, our, the calendar is only so big, but we have a form that we'll send you and we would love to dive in and look at your systems and find the places that we can tweak or plug up those holes where, you know, I remember at one point my amazing sales coach, Jen Deep Stratton said to me, this was like two years ago, maybe she was like, Molly, you are like standing on piles of dollars because there are so many people who want to work with you and you're not connecting with them. You're not scooping them up. You're not reaching out to them. But we got to a point where there, and this, this happens sometimes as you grow, right? You have to, sh we're going to get, this is going to be, I think, tip number seven, that you have to shift your automated systems. So know that this is something that you're always going to be working on and tweaking. Okay. And we are giving away uh, a business page makeover program that I usually sell for $97 at the end of today's video. People who comment with the nugget and their aha that they're learning, I'm going to be giving that away on this video. And also when you comment below with the word automate, you'll also be sent a free trial. If you've never used Be Live TV before, you'll be sent a free trial for 14 days of Be Live TV, which is my absolute favorite program. Um, especially because I get to highlight my spelling mistakes, like automation that isn't coverting. <laughs> but look, watch this. I mean, I can just do that and then it goes away. Okay. Uh, so, oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. So let's, yes, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. You may have missed that one earlier. Okay. So let's kind of review what we've got. Number one is you have to make sure that you test and having team members that can test things for you or if you are actually building these systems for other people, having your clients test these things and really make sure that you read it from the user's perspective. You like pull yourself out. Imagine that you're someone else and read it from that perspective. Number two is we have to make sure these things are personalized and that we recognize, you know, even with some of our clients who are like so amazingly um, powerful and heart-centered and wonderful. It's like, they'll say things like, well, they were added to my list. It's like, yes. And then what? We have to make sure that on your list, you're really speaking to their, you're like bringing your heart into this and connecting with those people. And when I write the bot messages for us, I really, you know, we have systems that we use and templates that we use and we make sure that we're thinking about it from like, who is the human being that's going to open this? Uh, and then that's making it fun. That's making it um, vulnerable. That's making it, um, you know, really pinpointed into their tangible problems. And so if you have a system that's not converting as well as you want, the, it, it very well could be that you've not really defined the actual need to show up. And it's a good way to test which things people need, right? So if you're like implementing every step of the system and people are still not showing up, maybe you need to, to change the message or maybe you're just not explaining to them how important this thing is. Like sometimes our, our reason to show up can be kind of fluffy and we're not explaining like the dire, um, the dire circumstances that will be happening if they don't show up. I had someone message me yesterday and say, can you explain to me what I did wrong? I posted something and I know 20 people saw it and no one responded. How did I, like how, what did I do wrong? Maybe people are just busy, right? So yes, you want to tweak all, tweak all of this and we need to recognize it doesn't mean that you necessarily did something wrong. It means that people are busy. Like we, not everyone's going to stop for every single automated thing that you put out. Okay. Yes. 
<laughs> automate to people, not androids. Yes, I love it. Um, yes, Le Janine says, uh, aha, do the foundational work to everything to make everything personal and target the right future clients. Totally. And you know, so those of you who know about my um, crazy course launch disaster that I had almost three years ago, almost two years ago. When was it? I don't know. A long time ago. Um, I met yesterday at my event, there was someone there singing who was the one person. I usually say like our pilot, we had 15 people join. And then when we did the full launch, we had zero show up. And it was a huge problem about how we personalized it because I was attracting, I said it was a cure for the starving artist syndrome. And so I was attracting people who were in a place where they weren't identifying that this tangible problem was something they wanted to invest in. And there was one person, I never tell this story, but there was one person who actually won my whole program called Prepared Performer Profits. And I hadn't seen him in years. And I saw him yesterday and he was like, oh my gosh, I can't tell you how valuable and important that whole program was to me. And I'm like, oh, it was such like this huge failure, you know? And um, and he said, it was so cool to talk to him about those tweaks that we made when uh, and how we tweaked things and shifted it to bring in $50,000 in sales within three months. And um, I tell that story as a way to really empower you to know that that it's sometimes you're just one little tweak away from really locking it in. And these are the things to look at when you are just that one tweak away. Okay, so you've built your automated system. Yeah, and make sure you comment below with the words automate and we will get you the show notes from this. Yeah. Okay, so um, once you have tested your system and then you have made sure it's really personalized, you've made sure that you have a super tangible problem that you're, that you're explaining and all of your marketing and all of that. Here's what I see happens is that people just think they can, like I said, set it and forget it. And that the automation will do the follow-up for them. Okay. So yes. And you have to actually follow up as a real human being. I, I think that many of you know that we have crazy automated systems going on here at Be Live over at The Prepared Performer. We have amazing, um, you know, things that we've done to automate and to be able to follow up uh, automatic. Like we had one. OK, I'm going to share a story with you again. I'm I'm very Colorado-y and very story-y today. So I hope this is landing for you. So we had one system that we built out where I did a video and I spoke to one specific industry. So I said, if you are selling this exact product, I am doing a training for you. Comment below and I'll get you access. They commented below. We sent out information and it said, great, the training is this much. To, it's going to cost this much to purchase this training. Uh, we had, because it was so specific and the problem was so tangible, we had 200 people uh, sign up to, to pay for that program, which to me at that point, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this works so well. And then we still had about uh, 1,200 more people who had actually signed up for information, but had not jumped into the program. So we sent one automated message that said, hey, are you still interested in this? Or did you already sign up? And it asked them a, a question. And when they responded, we sent them a very personalized message that said, okay, cool, no pressure. We just wanted to let you know that the price is going to go up on Friday. So if you want to get in, the time to get in is now. We had within 30 minutes, we had 40 people purchase that program. And I watched it all happen in the bot. It was like so crazy and cool. 40 people purchased the program. And by the time it was said and done, we had 400 people who had purchased the program, which was the, the craziest thing to us that had happened. I spent $900 in Facebook ads and it ended up from that. And then also higher level clients that came in, we brought in $90,000 in sales. Totally crazy. Now, when I tell this story, people are like, oh, cool. I can just build a bot and it's going to bring in $90,000. Heck no. There is very specific, you know, really, I really niched down things that we did with that system in order to make that happen. And once we had the automated thing in place, I was reaching out to people individually. So, you know, we've all been trained to think that you can just do this evergreen webinar and that sales are just going to come in. Yes. And you also need to be working to build real relationships. And so, oh, 
Okay. I love this question, Marielle. She said, what, is, what do you do if you don't want to connect with people who contacted you? I'm teaching dating and I get weirdos messaging me. So this is so good. And we actually have a few clients who are going through this right now, especially people who are doing, um, uh, you know, and this can be the same for any product, but especially people who are doing that deeper work, you can get people who are, um, can maybe come in like either victim mode where they're just like, oh, nothing is going to work. And I uh, like all that kind of stuff. Right. Or sometimes you get creepers, especially, um, Muriel, your brand is so fun and, and, um, it, dare I say like sexy and awesome. And I can see that everyone would want to watch your videos. And I could also see that you might get some people who you don't actually want responding to you, right? So what we've done with our clients is we give them specific messages to send back to those people, um, both for people that you just don't want to talk to anymore. And you have to reserve the fact that you might need to just block people, right? And, um, and some people are doing this straight to their personal messages, which I'm going to actually give you some really big ninja tips about this right now. And some people are doing it straight through um, their business page. So it can go either way, like through your business page or through your personal messages. Okay. Um, and we, so here's like some of the examples of what we say to do. The one of them is if it's super creepy, which I've gotten super creepy messages, I just block and delete and block them from my page, block them from my personal page and my business page. I actually had to block someone from my personal page today who I almost didn't block, but he kept leaving. It was someone I did not know who lived very far away and he kept leaving sad faces on all of my personal posts. So I blocked him. Oops. Um, and Yes. See, okay. So this is something that you actually have to be careful about with this follow-up. And I know that it's something that stops people from following up. Okay. So you have to make sure that your boundaries are in place first. Are you going to do things on your personal page, which can be much more effective if you're open to that? If you are, there's really cool ways that you can set different blocks so that only certain people see certain types of content. That's a whole nother story, but that's really cool. We just did a big training on this in our GLAM program, our higher level coaching program, where we went through like all of these different things that you can do on your personal page so that you can feel more um, in control of what's happening there and who sees what. Okay. Or you can be um, responding from your business page and you just have to make sure your boundaries are in place. So here's a couple of examples. If someone, um, so like for us, if we have people who, like when you comment below with the word automate, you'll be sent access to be able to book a call with us, right? But we don't have time to be able to book a call with every single person. So um, we have other opportunities where they can jump on videos like this or come to a masterclass. So for you, if there's questions coming at you that you don't actually have time to um, answer for free, right? Telling them to come join you on your Facebook Live is really cool. If these are people who are maybe not a good fit as a client right now, and they might be a good fit in the future, or this is really tricky and a, a good... Um, way to shift your energy around this. If there's someone who might not be willing to pay for your products or services right now, but you know, they would benefit from showing up to your videos and watching your trainings, they actually can provide an amazing amount of social proof. So for other people who are your ideal clients, if they see that those people are engaging, don't discount that engagement. And this is something that I'm really big at, big on. Like we have some people who are in our free community who have messaged me privately and said, like, I feel bad that I'm not able to afford your programs right now. And I say to them, like, keep showing up to the free stuff. Yes, we have deeper things that we do in our private work, but the free stuff is really valuable also. And I'm so happy to have you here as a member of our community. So you have to be clear about those boundaries for yourself. And like I said, I don't think this training is something that's going to be sexy for everyone. <laughs> like, I think some people are not wanting to admit that this is the case. So this is why I'm getting Colorado, <laughs> right? Um, okay, yay, uh, Watana, yes, this, this is the link for the replay. So the replay will be available as soon as we're done. Yes, okay, so um, you want to make sure that you have your boundaries in place. And when you are following up, that you have some sort of system for it, that you're tracking who you're following up with, that um, whether it's a spreadsheet or we track ours in Asana. And and as you grow, this part is something that you have to might, you maybe have to like readdress your systems, right? And we're actually putting these follow-up systems in place for our clients, which is super cool, so that they are reaching out individually and making sure it can be easy as, um, if someone is joining your free Facebook group, making sure that every single week you do a post where you welcome every person from your Facebook group, and then you can go in and connect with them there, right? And if you're not doing this follow-up and you're not bringing in sales, 
there is no one else to blame but you. I'm getting Colorado again. And even at the level that where we are, where we have lots of things, you know, sales coming in in an automated fashion, I take time to go follow up with people individually. Okay. That's number four. Yes, <laughs> Vanessa said. <laughs> so good. Nugget. Permission to block creepos. Yes. <laughs> And if you're just joining us now, make sure that you know that you can comment with Nugget and your aha to be entered to win access to a course that we have called uh, the Business Page Makeover. Okay, so that was number four. Number five, missing the opportunities. Okay, so we will have, and this is um, this is both our awesome clients and also people who are in our programs who are like, or sometimes I've noticed this in programs that I'm in where my colleagues will say stuff like this. They're like, you know, we're doing this and we're just not getting any results. Not getting any results is a big statement. And sometimes I have to be like, okay, let's go back and look at the actual numbers. And what happens when we go back and look at the actual numbers more, uh, way more often than not, there are often amazing results and we are missing those opportunities. And so we, and I'm totally included in this. Like I am 100% guilty of this. So we, um, oh, how cool is this, Nicole? I love it. She says, I can attest to her individual follow-up. I had a subscription question and she personally took care of me even when I replied to a bot. Hooray. And it's not always easy. Like we, you know, I have a team member who's in there making sure we're responding to everybody too. But like our intention is on the fact that we work to get in there and make sure we're responding as human beings. So thank you so much. Flora, so good to see you. Okay, uh, so this missed opportunities thing. When it's easy for us to have our eyes set on, like, let's say we want to do, you know, a, like, okay, so we have we have clients who, um, I don't want to call out exact clients because y'all know I'm talking to you, <laughs> but we have, let's say I want to do, um, let's say I want to get to 50 members in our, in our glam program. And so I'm looking at the fact that that's my, that's the goal that I have in mind. And so if every day I wake up and I'm like, Ugh, we don't have 50,000 members in, or 50,000. That would be cool. We don't have 50 people in our glam program, which stands for go live and monetize. But if I'm like, there's not 50 people in our program, um, then I'm focusing on the fact that there's not 50 people in our program. Instead, I can be looking at the fact like, oh my gosh, we had, for some people, it's like we had 10, 10 different people comment on our video yesterday amazing. Now, what do we do to check in with those 10 people and help welcome them into our next level of service? If you're, if you have an automated system in place that is set up to convert people into your highest level, there are so many places where you can tweak and make sure that you are adding coal to that fire by checking in as a human, right? So this missed opportunities goes along with the follow-up piece, but it's like you have to check, and I so loved my coach Adam Rabansky did an awesome training on this a couple of years ago that I saw, where you're checking every level of the conversion. Woo! There's a conversion when someone views your video because then you can retarget them in a Facebook ad. There's a conversion when someone clicks on a link or clicks the emoji, even though uh, the emoji, I mean like like or heart your your post, right? Because then they've they've raised their hand and identified themselves. So let's do like a fireworks show right now. Can we do lots of? likes and hearts and all of that. Can we try it? Because I love if you do hearts and likes. When people do that, it is an amazing opportunity to connect with someone because they've raised their hand and said, hey, I like your stuff, which is like the, the first or second step to wanting to work with you. Right. And then of course, you don't just jump on them and be like, I saw that you like my post. Will you buy my stuff? No, build relationships and get to learn more about them. Um, well, okay. So Mark says only if they opt in under the GDPR. So because they like your post doesn't mean that you're going to add them to your list and then, you know, store their information. No, but does it mean that you can just, Ooh, I didn't say this. I'm so excited. Um, it means that you can go and actually see their Facebook profile and that you can send them a message and say, Hey, I just wanted to thank you for liking my video yesterday. Simple as that. Now here is Yes, have a system in place. Love it, Tom, to convert someone to your next level of service. So um, here is the ninja trick about follow-up. So if you go on your desktop to someone's personal page and you hit send message and then you send them a message, if you're not friends on Facebook, what happens? Do you know? 
it goes to, I need to cover this up. <laughs> Let's follow up, cover up my spelling mistakes, but I want my stars to stay here. Um, it goes to your others folder, right? It goes to your others folder. And so if it goes to your others folder, they're most likely not going to see it. Now, I suggest that all of you check your others folder on a regular basis because we've had potential clients reach out to us and I've missed it in the others folder like years ago, right? Yeah. So it goes to that message requests. It changed. They changed the name of it. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you, Elaine. Yes. Okay. So um, yeah, you can comment on their posts. That's a good way too. But here is Super Ninja, which is instead of using your desktop, you want to, yeah, Mark says it goes to that special box that no one looks at. Totally. So instead you want to grab your phone and you want to find them in messenger, make sure that it's actually the right person. So you go to messenger on your phone, you look up their name and instead of just sending them a message, you click add on messenger. It's a big blue box and it actually is like adding them as a friend on Facebook, but it automatically um, lets them know that you've added them. So we've seen a crazy increase in people actually seeing our messages. When we say add on messenger, you have to do it from your phone. So one way to kind of speed it up is sometimes I'll go through and message people from my personal account um, on my desktop. And then those messages will show up on my phone and then I can easily click add on messenger and they'll see that. Right. Um, why is that working like that? I mean, it's cool. So, right. so this is just a way to, to work through the, the system that Facebook has in place which is pretty cool. Okay. Um, I love it. And know that if you're watching this tomorrow, Facebook could have changed everything, but for right now that works. And that's why it's important to keep showing up. Okay. I don't know. It doesn't work. I think because on desktop, you're not actually in the, um, you're not actually in the messenger app. You're technically on Facebook. So you have to do it in the messenger app, which is another way for them to make sure that you download the messenger app onto your phone. Okay, number five was missing the opportunities. Okay, number six, ask for support. So we talked about that JV partner thing earlier, like joint ventures, right? Ask your friends to share your stuff. Don't think that you just have to keep throwing things out at crickets. Sometimes it's just that one person sharing your video that lights everything on fire. Somebody wrote me a message yesterday and said, oh my gosh, check out my Instagram stories. There's a like a kid watching my videos, who's like an influencer who somehow loved my videos and shared it. And it's like going out of control. You never know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Opportunities. <laughs> Thank you, Jerome. I love reading Molly words. No better opportunities than voting. <laughs> Just know that I don't write the copy for our clients. Someone else <laughs> spell check, which is totally true, which is why I always have people test things, except as I've told you, I don't do it for myself. We need to get spell check. I'm talking to Daniel and software tomorrow. We need to add spell check to the agenda and we need to add spell check to our videos. Oh my gosh, I like it. Okay, so ask for support. Did I spell that right? I, I told you, this is why I spell things wrong on purpose so that people know and the thing is, is it just makes me feel better about it because I used to get like panic stricken about it and I'd feel so small. And now I just think it's really hilarious. Um, I have many other superpowers. Spelling is not one of them. Okay. So asking for um, both. Mark, actually really good point. Dyslexia and fast typing. So um, I've never been tested, but I am one, I am like 95% sure that I'm dyslexic and I am okay with it. It's just going to happen that way. So it's okay. <laughs> um water. Okay. Did you ever see when my computer stopped allowing me to use the letter R? I spilt. <laughs> um, this is a very special show today. I spilt a Bloody Mary on my computer while I was on an airplane. <laughs> and oh my gosh. And it wasn't the liquid that got that was the problem. It was like the tomato paste from the Bloody Mary got into my computer and the R key stopped working. So everything that I post, everything that I typed did, had no R. And uh, obviously that's what we're working with today. Okay. <laughs> totally. <laughs> okay. Asking for support. So have a list of um, 
Yes, Tamar. This is so good for you. Tamar, Tamar, I love you. And this stuff is so good for you. So for those of us that are people, people, and we're really looking to make, we're open to making those personal connections. It's also important that we have the systems in place too, so that it's not all based on our, our personal connecting, right? So Tamar, for you, it's about getting those descriptions uh, a little sussed out in your videos and then making sure that like if, oh, here's a really good one. So <laughs> I wasn't working. I was just doing things on my computer, like for myself, I was playing around. <laughs> okay, this is like the confession room tonight. It's super fun. Okay. <laughs> so Tamar, um, asking for support. So like that, I always bring up that video tomorrow that we loved so much. Everyone who liked that video, who commented on that video, you could start by asking them like, hey, this is an amazing nugget right now coming at your face. Go to that nugget. I mean, go to that nugget. Go to that um those comments, the people that commented or the people that liked and say, Hey, I'm so grateful that you tuned into my video. Uh, would you be open to sharing it? Say asking a question like that where they can reply and say yes. Right. Yes or no. And then say, um, then send them the link. So really cool. <laughs> okay. This is what happens the day after my show. I want to make sure everybody knows this is the day to, to really tune in for all of the answers. Okay, so, so far, I'm gonna do a little recap right now because we are almost out of time. This is such good information. So I hope that you're like really taking it to heart and seeing how you can apply this to your systems as well. So number, oh, that's not number one. Look, that was a mistake. No, that was number one. Ta-da. Okay, number one, test, test, test. All of these little pieces, make sure that you're testing it and making sure that it's actually working. You, while you're testing, you wanna really read it from a personalized uh you know, the standpoint of your viewer, of your audience member, of your community member, make it personalized. You're not sending out a message to a big old list. You're really connecting as a human being and then automating it from there. Okay. And then make sure that you're identifying a tangible problem. You know, you want to, you want to make it so that the things that you're offering are something that's a necessity, not a little bonus zhuzh thing. <laughs> it's something that's like, if you don't solve this problem, then you're going to be, you know, identify what's going to happen if they don't get this problem solved. Okay. Number four, follow up. Yes. Shannon is in to win. She says nugget, follow up and ask support. I'm in sales and I hate being a salesperson. So this is hard for me, but it's so crucial. Really true. <laughs> uh, Mark, really good nugget. Also, okay. You want to make sure that you're following up, right? Follow up. You cannot just set it and forget it and trust that these systems are going to make all these conversions, right? And then that leads to missing the opportunities. So don't have your eyes set on just one set of numbers. And this is why for those of you who are maybe thinking about joining the 90 day year, this is why I love the 90 day year so much because you set your one specific goal. And then you're checking the results every two weeks to see what's happening. Like, you know, and we have team meetings every Friday now where we're checking those results and seeing how you can tweak things going forward. Um, and that's where those missed opportunities happen because you may have had, um, and you know, we built like this big sequence once and we noticed that everyone was going, this wasn't for us. It was for a client. And we noticed that everyone was going through the sequence and they were getting to like the second message and then they were dropping off. So we went in and we tweaked things at that second message to make sure that they continue through the system, which is awesome. Like, and, and some people can view that as being like, oh, it didn't work. No. It's working up until the second step, and then we're going to tweak it. And this is where I think some people might get mad about this video because they think like, oh, I'm just going to build you a system that's going to work perfectly every time. And it's just not the case. This is an art. It's um, it's about really paying attention to those nuances. <laughs> okay, so missing out on those opportunities. Number six, ask for support. This can be from your team, from a coach, from a, from a um, family member, from a friend, whatever. But it also can be asking people who are in your space to share your stuff. And so sometimes if I have a video that I really want to um, make a splash with, I'll reach out to some of my friends who I know have communities that would benefit from it and say like, hey, uh, you know, big ask, like, would you be open to sharing a video that I'm doing? Some people say yes. And some people say don't respond. Even like good friends of mine will not respond sometimes, which is fine. And some people say like, oh, I'm in the middle of a launch right now, but let me know next time. Totally good right? But you have to ask for that support first. It's not going to come if you don't ask for it. Even as clearly as share this puppy, asking people to share your stuff while you're actually doing it, right? Okay. And then number seven, are you ready for this? Move with the cheese. So 
things change. How many major changes have there been with just Facebook alone this year? Five million. And so you have to be open to the fact that maybe there's little things in your system that you need to tweak going forward. Because if you are someone who started email marketing, like when, um, what's his name? Jeff Walker. Like if you listen to Jeff Walker, who does product launch formula, if you listen to his story about when he first started his business, he created a newsletter and made like bajillions of dollars off of an email newsletter. Unless your email news newsletter, unless your email newsletter is really specifically targeted and has every single crazy thing in this little thing that I walk through today, unless that's in place, it's rare that you're going to be able to make a huge you know, amount of revenue off of an email newsletter. So that system needs to be tweaked, right? Um, yes, I love it. Okay, so moving with the cheese. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up right now. And um, your bonus tip for today on top of the seven that I just gave you, I have to do something to cover up that thing. Okay, bonus tip is make sure your computer's plugged in because my computer's about to die. Ta-da! Okay, so I hope this is valuable. I think this is something that you can take back to every piece of your system. And if you think you don't have an automated system in place, if you are posting things on Facebook, those posts live on without you. So technically, the way I see it, that is a little bit of automation going on right there. I hope this is valuable for you. I am going to um, go through and I, okay, here's what I want to do. If you're still watching this right now, I want you to give me a comment um, down below with a number, um, one through let's do, what should we, I don't want it to be too big. What number should we do? Let's do one through 30. That's kind of big. Give me a number down below with number one through 30. And this is how we're going to pick the winner today. (laughs) Okay. And remember when you comment with automate, you're going to get access to our show notes that we'll be putting together and sending to you. You'll get access to, um, an ability to have us look at your system. If you fill out this form, we can't fit everybody in. We will get back to you though. So make sure you check your email because we're going to get back to you with whether or not we can fit you in to look at your system. And if we can't get you in to look at your system, we'll send you some advice uh, via email. And uh, you'll also get access to a free trial of Be Live TV. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm just going to go with this first number, which is Vanessa. And she said number eight, Vanessa, when I was a kid, I was at Disneyland and I went to the fortune teller who was an automated fortune teller. She was like a robot fortune teller that they had at Disneyland in the Penny Arcade. And I um, paid to have her tell my fortune. And she told me that my lucky number was eight. And I have stuck to it my whole life. So I like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to count back eight nuggets. And that is how we're going to find out who wins. So we're going to count it down. Ooh, this is kind of fun. I've never done it this way. So nugget number one is, let's see, is, and the eighth nugget is the one who's going to win. Number one is, Who moved the cheese? Move with it. Right, Sherry? That book is so good. Okay, let's look at number nugget number two. Jerome says, nugget, solve a tangible, real problem. Yes. Okay. Nugget number three. Nugget, I literally have an inner Molly waiting to get in front of my basically non-existent audience. Oh my gosh, Vanessa, we got to put that out there. I love it. Okay. uh, Nugget number four. Four, make sure. Oh, I almost skipped one. Nugget number four is Sherry. Sherry says, uh, Cam fam. She says, reach out to people who comment on your post or live and ask them to share it. Yes, that's such a good, like, um, you know, easy ask. It's not you're asking them to pay something, pay for something. It also tells you that they like your stuff if they're willing to share it, right? Okay, nugget. Oh, I lost count. Shoot. That was nugget number four, right? <laughs> Yes. It, oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Somebody give me the number. Now I've got to go back and count again. Okay. I'm sorry. This is good. <laughs> you guys, I should not be allowed to do this show. Uh, oh, my gosh. How weird. The comments came through in all different orders there. That was so crazy. Okay. Um. So we had who moved the cheese. Was that the first one that came after that? These like changed orders. I'm going to do that. So let's count again. One, two, three. Okay. Four, Nugget, reach out to people who comment on your post. Yes, and ask them to share it. Okay, five is Nugget, follow up and ask for support. Shannon says, um, I'm in sales and I, I'm going to hold a number here. And I hate being a salesperson. So this is hard for me, but I know it's crucial. 
Yes, yes, yes. Okay, number, nugget number six. And you might be seeing these in a different order on your side. Facebook changes it up sometimes. <laughs> Janine says, nugget number six, no alcohol while working. Totally true. Um, number, <laughs> nugget number seven. I missed this one, Sherry. Really good. She says, focus Mahoney while typing. Thank you. And oh my gosh, which one it's going to be? Look at that. Sherry Roberts is nugget number eight. Nugget, add messenger using your phone. Yeah. So you use your phone and click add on messenger. So good. I love it. Okay. So Sherry, you want access to our business page makeover, which I'm so stoked about. It is uh, crazy. Like Muriel was saying she has it and it's kind of, she's like, it has to go and dig into it. So it's actually a I think it's a three hour training. There's lots of templates and all kinds of crazy stuff in there. And we even have some bonus trainings that are coming into that. Sherry, I don't think you're in there. I know you're a member of Camera Confidence, but I don't think you have this one. So I'm super stoked to be able to share that with you. Yay. Okay. I know eight is the infinity number, which I also love the knot of infinity. That's like a Celtic knot and a Buddhist symbol. So good. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, thank you for laughing with me as I spell things wrong. And uh, just thank you for being a part of the Be Livers community. I love Be Live TV. And remember, if you comment below with the word automate, you'll get access to the show notes from today. We'll send those to you as soon as they're ready. Um, we're actually sending them to you, the link for them right away. So you can go back and keep hitting refresh until it's updated, which will be soon. And um, you'll get access to a free trial of Be Live TV and a form that you can fill out so that we can dive in, check out your marketing systems and find out where you're missing some of these steps and how we can maybe shift them for you. Really cool. Okay. Uh, it is my absolute joy to be able to be here with you at Be Live TV, helping you to unlock your inner awesome and elevating it with the magic of Facebook Live, Be Live TV and all that goodness. Go connect with real human beings. I can't wait to see you.